I came to drop my car off to get my tent done. Stay tuned because you're not gonna wanna miss these wheels. They look incredible on this truck. Before that, cold start on 2021 Mustang with stock exhaust. What exhaust should we do on this car? Let me know down in the comments. Personally, I think Ford did a good job on this exhaust. Alrighty, so one last quick look on how it looks without tint. Did the tint on our Range Rover. Now they're gonna do the tint on here. Thank you guys for always hooking it up. Okay, so since my car is currently getting tinted, I need to order some parts so that I can have parts here to build when it gets done. And then we've gotta get it ceramic coated. Cobra R hood, there it is. Just so you guys can get a, a little, a little view of what's to come. This is it on a red Mustang. There's not many pictures of it on a white one. And so we're gonna go ahead and purchase this one. For lowering springs, we're gonna be going with these dual rate ultimate handling lowering springs. This is gonna drop us three quarters of an inch on all four corners. And I think just one more thing we need to add as well as these blacked out 5L badges. So we're gonna go ahead and just uh, Luns custom tuning and we're gonna be getting that free cam lope and I cannot wait to get this installed because the cam lope sounds incredible And last but not least we're gonna be going with this Borla attack cat back exhaust system Babe, what's behind me? <laughs> Just kidding <laughs> <laughs> Look at that we got the black wheels. We got tint and a visor I came to drop my car off to get my tint done 5% on the very very back these little quarter windows, 5%, sides, 20%. And I did a tint strip on the front. And as I'm walking out after paying Kyler from Dependable, you guys know Dependable here if you're returning back to the channel. If you are, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like. He goes, hey, do you want those wheels black? Originally, he actually said to Sam in her Range Rover, hey, do you want those wheels black? And I said, I want mine black. So we ended up leaving the car here. He got them done the very next day and called me and said, hey, your car's done. So, Dependable hooking us up fat again. We got the snow camo on one side, the all white on the other, the Dependable logo in the caps with the forged wheels. Look, they're building all sorts of sick stuff out here. Paint match, it looks like it's going on this one. Paint match going on a Bronco. I haven't had my car for like three days, and before that I only had it for three days. So I need to get back in this thing, give it a rip, so we'll catch you guys in just a minute. Guys, huge shout out to Beefcake Racing for shipping our Borla exhaust priority FedEx. So. I think I paid for it like two days ago and it's already being delivered to my house. So he's gonna unload it right now, put it in my garage, and I don't know how soon we're gonna be able to put that on, but I'm thinking sooner rather than later. Alrighty guys, so we do have a lot of parts in this morning. We got Kenai hanging out with us, my man's best friend. We got the Mustang back here, and we've got lowering springs here. We've got Borla attack exhaust system here. We've got smoked out tail lights with sequential turn signals here. We've got uh, black 5.0 badges for the sides. We did get the wheels powder coated as you guys saw in the previous. We got the windows tinted. So now we're gonna go ahead and get these tail lights thrown on and then we might have to save the lowering springs and an exhaust for another day because well, I don't have a lift here in my garage, which if you guys wanna see the update on the Dream Garage build, I will put the link right here so that you guys can check it out. But let's go ahead and get these things installed. Okay, so this car is equipped with the factory subwoofer, so we're gonna go ahead and get that pulled out. And then I'm gonna do one side so you can see what the red looks like versus the black. We'll close the trunk. See what you guys think down in the comments below. Be sure to let us know. Okay, now that we've got the factory subwoofer out, we've got access to that passenger side tail light. All right, just like that, we're gonna go ahead and pull our tail light off. First look at these babies. Oh my goodness. That gloss black all the way through. Just go ahead and take a look at how those two look next to each other. Dang. Woo! Just gonna put the bolts back on and plug them in. All right, guys, so I know the car needs a wash, but what do you guys think of the blacked out tail lights? I'm kind of digging it. Now I think it's time to get the other one on, and then we'll get those black badges on, and then we're pretty much all blacked out. So just real quick for comparison, we're gonna unlock the car and see the difference in the reds and, you know, just kind of the differences all around. Oh, look at that. 
It's such a cleaner line in the back. Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, this is the stock turn signal flasher. And this is the aftermarket sequential one. So you guys can kind of see the difference there. Now let's go ahead and put the other one on. We're good to go. I guess now all we need to do is close this and see how it looks. I think now we need just a huge black spoiler. What do you guys think? These blacked out badges that we replaced with this guy right here, I think these should just come standard on the cars. But like, look at those and look at those. Look at this and dang, look at that. Put the Borla Attack exhaust system on the car. I'm just gonna jack the back of the car up and install it myself. It seems like it should be done in maybe one or two hours. I um, mean, really, it only looks like it's like six bolts. So I guess we will uh, see how this goes. Okay, so we got the car all jacked up. We do have some wood blocks underneath the back just in case any of those jacks are to fail. Now let's go ahead and get this box open and see what we're working with. Some hardware here. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything pulled out of the box now and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we'll remove the stock one. It's like Christmas day. So now we've got the stock exhaust pulled out and we've got the X pipe here and then we've got our axle back pieces here and then uh, we've got our left side and our right side. So what I'm doing now is I'm pulling off these active valves right here, the motors. Got this one on. So now that we've got those active valves installed, we've gone ahead and put our X-pipe in place and our two longer pieces of the exhaust. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw in our mufflers. And I will say, one man job, it's doable, but two people would have been way better to line it up and everything. I am super excited to hear how this thing sounds. So let's go ahead and get a start up and make sure that there's no leaks, that the active valve is working, and then we'll drop the car. Now that we've talked enough about my exhaust, let's hurry and look at Sam's car. So we got the blacked out wheels, we got blacked out, we got this wrapped white, which looks way, way better. We're gonna, we're still thinking, do we wanna take the letters off? Do we not wanna take the letters off? We don't really know yet what we wanna do on those, but we got that wrapped white. We got the Mustang all ceramic coated, and I have to say, this thing is shining up nice. Just looking great. So now we've got the Mustang ceramic coated. Now we've got the Platinum ceramic coated. Now we gotta go home. We gotta grab the Range Rover, bring it back and get it ceramic coated. And we don't have any time to do any of this. What's up, Brayden? Woo! I wanna throw a huge shout out to Chandler and Chris, the roller driver, and these guys are sponsoring today's vlog. So, if you guys wanna find more of their work, it's mostly Chandler's work, you can find them at 253 Shooter on Instagram, and I will drop links down in the description below. But, for now, I wanna see this cinematic that he's got pulled up, so here we go. Hey, look, hey. Um, bread it up like sandwich, damn bitch, are you okay? Working on my tantric, hand trick for your whole sake Stunting like I better be, recipe for my own cake Heavenly, my pedigree, better me for my 